excited to see what's coming your way. We do have the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. And this is you and we are unhappy. What's going on, Sagittarius? What is going on? Who is making us so unhappy that it shows up the minute we started? Nine of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands. Somebody is blocking. Somebody is standing their ground, defending their values, asking for time, for space, for a breakup, for um, five of swords in reverse. Okay, we had a fight. We had a disagreement and after that they are blocking and they are asking to be left alone, which makes us completely unhappy. I mean, we should discuss and vent all this and oh, it's an ending. We do have the death in reverse. Can be a Scorpio, by the way. Uh, but it looks like that is an ending that makes us unhappy. And a transformation in the same time. Every time I see that, I say, thank God there is progress and, and growth. So, Six of Swords, Peace of Mind, and more than one. For some of you, for, for some of you, this might actually be the advice, right? Let's have some peace of mind. We finished with an argument. We are unhappy. And here you show up, temperance in reverse, right? Some food for thought. We might be just a little bit out of balance and why, right? I mean, it can be, you know, very difficult, but at the end of the day, we have to, right? We have to continue to live, to be positive about the Hierophant in reverse with the temperance in reverse. Maybe the commitment is not one of the best. Okay, so let's see. Taurus energy, by the way. So bottom of the deck, I love this healing, healing of the mind, healing of the body, four of swords and the star. can be a breakup from an Aquarius, but I don't feel after what we saw, the level of conflict and lack of commitment, I kind of feel that we are healing at this time. And the whole energy is deployed actually to align, to heal, to ask for guidance. And, um, you know, having uh, the best advice from people, but also with the Four of Swords, having a plan of your own. And switching from fire to air, right? It's what keeps a fire burning. So, it's beautiful, actually. Past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And, of course, you know such ties by now that you only take what resonates. You only take the side you resonate the most with, the messages. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. And I say possible because you always have to use your better judgment. You always have free will. And you can shift the energies around. Queen of Wands um, in reverse, right? And this is absolutely you. And Ten of Swords in reverse. We are definitely healing a fight over here. Temptation, lust, um, betrayal, jealousy, you name it. It was the devil. Um, so what happened in the past? Six of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Cups. We might have received or we might have um, given an offer. And, um, you know, it came with um, shame. We shouldn't have had, or that is something that we've done about this love offer, about this, um, you know, uh, person maybe who, um, you know, um, showed interest in you, can be. For some of you, maybe you gave a cup of love to someone and actually it turned out to be um, not such a good idea. Now, this person of yours, they do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Maybe they said no thank you because somebody was committed to somebody else. Um, and they didn't want to engage. Seven of Swords is the energy of not wanting to engage in uh, low vibrational behavior. And uh, Ten of Pentacles, family, children, legacy, staying on the path. And um, kind of doing the right thing in some way, right? Mutual energies between the two of you, the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, staying single, being single, becoming single and enlightened. You know, the High Priestess. For some of you, this is the energy where um, kind of uh, both of you you knew is not going to work. Um, it's the energy of staying silent about... Um, I would say the necessity of staying um, single, but you take it as it resonates, right? That is an energy of silence. And that is an energy of intuition. It's kind of like you, both of you, you know, both of you 
um, knew at this point, at that point in the past, right? That Nine of Pentacles was the way, staying single, um, independent, and doing whatever needs to be done, right? So what are we right now? Five of Cups in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. Um, I love this because uh, Five of Cups in reverse is the energy of I'm not going to miss someone who doesn't miss me, right? Um, it has this energy of I've been emotionally exhausted enough. It's, um, you know, I've been crying. Five of Cups, we know it's a lot of crying. Um, a sense of responsibility, a sense of guilt, a sense of missing, longing, mourning the loss of someone. And I kind of feel we want to take control over this, right? Um, and for and we want to take control because we feel a little bit uprooted, right? Four of Wands in reverse. We don't feel stable right now. And we kind of need a little bit of stability. We need to be happy again. Four of Wands is about celebrations and events that we... We want to be part of, you know, being uh, going back to um, community life and being surrounded by people. Doesn't mean physically, but can be virtually, right? Now, this person of yours, um, such that is, they are in the Ten of Swords in reverse energy and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Maybe a Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio energy. We saw the Scorpio while shuffling. We do have the um, uh, High Priestess, which is Pisces, Cancer. So. Might be a water sign you are dealing with, but they are healing as well. Um, they are healing as well. Somebody is just like you, emotionally drained, um, not being fulfilled emotionally. Nine of Cups in reverse is not giving love and not receiving love. And in the process, they are, um, you know, kind of making the best out of it. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Death in Reverse, Unfinished Business and the King of Pentacles. Might be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn between you and your person. Um, such that is and um, and because of it we can't have a proper communication we can't um, express what we need to express we can't um, heal faster right um, and uh, we cannot approach them um, unfinished business you know death in reverse is something that you know for now a chapter will stay a little bit open till we figure out a couple of things five of cups knight of cups right that was love, um, genuine emotions, uh, such that is between you and your person. They had the Knight of Cups at some point, which is my I love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card and energy. And Five of Cups is the energy of missing and longing, right? So like missing you like crazy kind of energy, right? And it, and, um, it was there, but we are moving away, both of you, for the um, sake of your own sanity. Um, the outcome of this, we do have the Two of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups. This is not something we are paying attention in the near future. Um, we need to focus on, uh, you know, the uh, the gift from the universe that it, um, for some reason we are not seeing it and it's kind of normal because we are healing here and staying quiet, healing the mind and the soul. And Four of Cups is kind of like the universe saying that is an offer of love around you. I am giving you a gift that you are not seeing because you are disconnecting emotionally from someone. Now this person, uh, Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands, this is your energy and they are at crossroads. They would pretty much choose you because you show up here. Um, and um, are they capable of? I believe they need to go through some healing first. And mutual energies, Eight of Wands with the Three of Cups in reverse, right? Both of you. Uh, getting some fire in your belly. Um, I don't believe you are quite excited about what's coming spiritually. Um, again, because we have the star and the high priestess, both energies of, of alignment, uh, both energies of ascension, um, wish fulfillment, but it's mainly a spiritual vibe to both, both the energies. So I kind of feel on you. On your way, it's more of a spiritual path and healing the mind and being smart about and um, kind of getting in all the lessons, um, you know, um, with the four of swords, right? The energy of the mind. For them, it's a little bit more complicated, right? A little bit more complicated. And I, and I kind of feel that it's not you keeping the chapter open, but it's more them. And I don't think they can let you go at this time. Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands, right? 
they choose you, but do you choose them, you know? So, um, and you choose healing, but... So let's ask for some guidance, Sagittarius. Um, again, the question is very simple. Should we say yay? Should we say nay? And Sagittarius, notice the gift. When I look at the uh, outcome of this, Four of Cups, right? That is a hidden gift in it, and we are not seeing it. And I'm not surprised we have the garden. The universe is asking you to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself first. Your inner world, um, plant, right? The seeds of whatever seeds you want to plant. Of spirituality, of greatness, of help, of, um, I don't know, charity, you name it, right? Whatever you want to do. And speaking of charity and life purpose, you, you have it right away. The garden and life purpose. One is about you, one is about nurturing and taking care of the world, finding your voice, finding your mission. What's important to you? Peace of mind. Peace of mind. That's exactly the whole reading, actually. It is about peace of mind. The overall energy is about peace of mind. And spiritual maturity. Definitely on a spiritual journey. Bottom of the deck, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. I feel such serious that, um, yeah, this person might have been taken, honestly. Uh, they might have uh, been committed to someone else when you met them. Um, I don't think you are guided back to them or back to this connection. That is a higher mission for you, such stars. That's exactly how I'm receiving the guidance for you. But you need to be honest. Whatever you need to be honest about, you know exactly what you need to be honest. But the universe is asking you to follow your path to spiritual maturity, life purpose, peace of mind while you take care of yourself and you are honest with the people involved. That's exactly the message here. So let's see the um, energies we need to put back into the flow. We do have spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. So new situations, by the way. We do have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So you are on point when it comes to your intuition, you know exactly. Now you have to be courageous and it comes with honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth and courage. So I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. This is how you activate courage. Spiritual maturity and relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Bottom of the deck, ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. I kind of feel we, we trust our intuition and courageously take ownership of, of what you want to do next. And just trust the process it's I don't feel you are guided towards this person, Sagittarius. Uh, to tell you the truth, on the contrary, you are guided a little bit away to a higher path. So, hey, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.